in Minnesota, we're feeling the impacts of climate change in our own way. Climate experts say that the trends show warming winters and wet wetter conditions. As Caroline Cummings explains, that is likely to continue if we don't take action now. As world leaders address a climate crisis on a global scale here in Minnesota, we are also experiencing these changes. Heidi Roop, a climate science professor at the University of Minnesota, says data show our state has warmed three degrees in the last 125 years, and the effects are far reaching and already happening. You don't have to look very far to see something in your life that you care about, whether that's economic impacts, impacts to your community's infrastructure, your ability to have clean, safe drinking water. Um, your ability to go recreate in our forests or our lovely lakes, sort of this iconic Minnesota, um, is at risk from a changing climate. Trends in Minnesota so far, heavier rains and warmer winters. People like to go out and ice fish or they like to snow or snowmobile and there just has been a shorter window for those kinds of conditions. We still get great winters, they're just not as common as they used to be. Seared into memory are images of scorched forests sparked by this summer's drought. But overall, our state has been getting wetter. The precipitation that we've had has at times overwhelmed local communities. Into the future, though, drier summers could become more normal, characterized by more extremely hot days if things don't take a turn for the better. So it looks like we're getting hotter either way. But the, the question is, do we get hotter kind of gradually or do we get hotter in a way that we're not prepared for at all? Caroline Cummings, WCCO 4 News.